Hello everybody, I'm back with Ty the Tasmanian Tiger, and now we're going to go into Outback Safari. And there's Shazza, or is it Sheila? No, Sheila's the koala character in the next level. That's Shazza. I'm fairly certain. This is it. The wide open Outback. And... Okay, this level is very hard for one reason. Look at these boxes. Okay, you know, they normally have five opals or something in them. Each box has one single opal. So there's 300 of these boxes. And we just have to find them. And I have exited this level many times holding 299 opals. Because, man, they're hard to find. So, this is definitely one of the hardest levels in the game to complete. Uh, 100%. But overall, it's a pretty fun level, because, like, you get a change in gameplay, that sort of thing. And also, Ty's boomerang right here is not a normal boomerang. It's the lasso rang. He throws out a rope with it. So that's cool. We'll be using that for a mission. Right now I'm just breaking stuff to make sure I don't miss anything. Like there might be a golden cog, or some more opals or something. Well anyway, I think we're done with the starting area. Let's go ahead and move on to the wide open outback. We'll start right here. Alright, so for this one, uh, Shazza is going to be driving her car down here, and we have to protect her from these guys on their bikes, which we did just fine there. We, can't, we shouldn't let her get away from us, because then the guys will get her. Try not to let her get hit, but, I'll, I mean, I'm doing what I can. There's just some things that, you know... I'm sorry, she just got hurt. Alright, come on. Get, no, get out of there. Okay, wh where did she go? I forget which way she, she drives. Um, I think it's right. So, let's go on the right path. And we'll see if we can catch up to her. It, it, good thing she's not really losing much health. That's nice. No! Get out of there. Okay. Okay, let's not worry about opals right now. I'm just gonna go get her. Wherever she went. There she is. I'm, I'm really surprised she hasn't been getting hurt more. There's another guy. There's another one. There's our first golden cog. And it looks like she's made it. With only one part of damage taken. And I think she also has a mission for us right up here. Yeah. So, oh, by the way, before that was the Frill Frenzy, but now we're doing Emu Roundup. So we gotta find these emus right here. And, uh, you mash? No, you don't. You just hold it. And you just hope they don't escape. So, yeah. That's how you catch the emus. There's one. Oh. Come back here. Come on, come on. Yes, he's in. And I saw another one right over here. Oh, he went over here. 
Also, you might notice there's a bunch of those rocks that we used to hurt this this same bowl in the boss of the first world. Did he just clip? Okay, no, he didn't. Good. It looked like he might have clipped into the wall. Why did you, why did you get him tight? He's right there. Wow, now he moves. Of course he does. Come on, just grab him. All right, there. Now, where are those others? Uh, there's one. Get back here. Why don't you grab him, Ty? There we go. And we'll pull him in. Yeah, we're not doing too. Oh, we're not doing too well. Five to go. Where are they? Um. Oh wait, I think I see one. Nope. Wow. There, there. I got hurt by one of them. Please. Uh, I thought I saw something moving up here just a second ago. Maybe I'll just get, maybe I'll just get lucky and grab one while I'm throwing the ring. Oh, there's one! Get back here. There we go. I don't know if that's close enough. Nope. I'll try again. There, got him. Um, oh, there's one. And there's the, the other one. Hopefully he won't just get away. And we'll try that again. Where'd he go? There he is. There's the last one. Not exactly the best of times. But we did it in three minutes. Awesome. We already have the time attack ready? Well, let, let's go ahead and go. Let's time attack it up. So now we just have to race Shazza through the rings. No! <laughs> Are there no opals to collect, or did I already get them all? Maybe there's no opals to collect at all while you're racing. So th this race basically just gives us a nice tour of the level. I'm gonna make this jump! Let's see... Um... So yeah, maybe I was wrong before. I th this might be the longest race in the game. And all I had to do is play one more level to find out. <laughs> but who knows, I might get a faster time. Oh no, I got hurt. And she passed us. No, she's definitely not going to get away with that. Okay, almost there. Yeah, this is definitely the longest race in the game. Oh no! She might beat me. Yeah, just just kidding. She didn't beat me. Alright. Let's move on. Let's get all these opals right here. I thought I 
just saw four. Maybe not. Up here we might have a... Nope. That's just a hoax. It's probably just that... Um, maybe the house thing was built up again after I got the golden cog from it. Grab these. I think there's a couple boxes. Yep, there's a couple boxes up right near the tornado. Amazing. Oh no, we're dead! Okay, well, there we go. We died. <laughs> Good job. But at least I have plenty of lives. Alright, let's go grab those opals again. Some right here, as well as a golden cog right here. Yeah, get it, get out, get out of there. No, no! Yeah, yeah, we did miss one right there, so. All right. No, don't get sucked up again. Okay. Uh, and almost back on the road again. The tornado would just stop messing with us. Is there anything in here? Oh, there is. A, there's a bilby. Sorry I'm so quiet, I'm just trying to be very meticulous about grabbing all these opals. And we gotta break everything! Whee! So many opals, yay! Oh, there's another golden cog! Number three. As well as more opals. Oh, no! Oh, man. Got tornadoed again. Uh, did I miss... Any opals? Alright, let's see. Are any over here? Um, oh, th there's just some things over here. I think I got some pie just then. Well, there's an outhouse right there. For if we die again. We got an extra life! And I think there's another golden cog in here. Yep. And now we will make the jump of glory! 
as well as a golden cog. The jump of a golden cog. Great. over here uh, and can't miss these let's go ahead and go on up into where we will do uh, this one toxic trouble so for this one we have to throw our boomerangs at these cans. And the frills are gonna are gonna fix the cans while we're breaking them. So we just gotta beat the frills and then break the cans again. But it's really not that hard. Unless the frills just wanna be really annoying and stuff. And get completely in the way. Okay, there we go. Done. Uh, oh no, we can't fall in there anyway. Let's keep going. So in here we'll have a tunnel. As well as a bilby. And a waterfall. And I believe right here, yeah. Golden Cog. And over here we'll have one of the like the easiest thunder egg in the game, I think. It's just this one. Secret thunder egg. Just under the waterfall. That's it. You can you can see it from fairly far away even. Cause it's just got that glow it's just glowing bright blue and purple. But yeah. It's just under it's just under the waterfall. That's all there is to it. I want to make sure to not miss any boxes or whatever this thing is another golden cog there's our third bilby Box is hiding in the grass over here. Yeah, this level definitely requires you to have a very keen eye to look to look for everything. What? Oh, okay, that, that's a broken pillar. There's our eighth golden cog. As well as a box. More boxes! Oh, up here, we'll find our next mission, which would be Firefight. We talk to Ken right here, say yes to the mission. So what we have to do for this one is we have to break water towers. 
just got to run up and we just break them. Just like, well, wow. Okay, apparently I can't do it, but just got to get a good head start and you run up and just get them. What am I doing wrong? This is always what I do to, to break the water towers. Did I, like, not start the mission or something? Okay, this is so weird. Oh! Oh, I know what it is. You have to break them in a specific order. Because there's only certain houses that are on fire or something. Wait, where is the fire right now? Okay, fire's over here. So we have to break this one first. That's what it is. Yeah. I forgot that was even a thing that they had to do for the mission. So the next fire will be over here, but we're just going to let that burn for a little bit while we grab some more opals. Because we're so nice. Yeah. Get, get the thing. There we go. Break this. So far, I'd say we're doing pretty well on opals. But 243. But it only take you, you only have to miss one to not be able to get the the thunder egg. And the next fire is over here. So we'll break this one. Alright, now we'll break it. We did it. Now let's go look for more stuff. Is there anything I forgot to break? Yeah, <laughs> there's all these opals. Wow. As well as the fifth Bilby. All right. Okay, 263 opals now. Let's see, where else to go? Let's just follow the roads and see where they lead. Oh, opals. That's where they lead, the, the roads always lead to opals. Unless you have all 300. Then they won't. But otherwise, they always lead to opals. Okay, let's see. We have 24 to go. We got some pie there. And uh, golden cog, maybe? Question mark? Yes. <laughs> the 10th golden cog. All right, so I won't have to cut and edit to find the last golden cog. Amazing. Let's just continue down this road. I think the last, yeah, all we have left is to get the last 22 opals. I really hope I didn't just like leave one stranded somewhere. That would be so bad. Alright, let's 
see. Where else is there to go? I'll just keep following the roads. Just meticulously looking around. Over here, maybe? Nope. Um, okay, I guess, will I really have to cut again? Alright, well, I guess not again, I haven't cut it all in this episode yet, but, but yeah. I guess I'll just make a cut until I find some more opals. I found another opal. I'm right here, by the way. Yay. Another opal. Um, I don't think there's any others right around here, though. Maybe there are. Hopefully. I'm back at the place where we did the firefight mission. But I think I, I think I scoured this place enough. I guess I'll just cut again. <laughs> Yay. Yay. It's another opal. 16 to go. Come on, baby. I gotta find some more. Oh, good. There's one. 15 left. We'll start the countdown. There's 15 left. Come on. Are they right around here? Yes, there's one. There's one. No, that's a that was a pillar. Okay. Um. Come on. Are they not right around here? Is that one? No, it's a pillar. Why do the broken pillars look so much like the boxes? It's not fair. It's like I'm seeing mirages, like I'm in the desert or something, and it's like, there's an opal! No, it was just a mirage. It's just a broken pillar. Oh well, I guess I'll cut again. Yay! I'm right here. Yay! I found more opals in the starting area. Just two, but that's... That's two more closer to our goal. From 300. We're so close. Oh, there, there's some. There's three, wow. Nine left. There's only nine opals to go. Will I go insane by the time I find the last Opal. Oh, there's more. One, two, three. Okay, six left. They're usually in groups of three, so that's probably two groups to find. I think I see more over here. Yeah, I guess this is just like a road that I didn't scour too much. It's 97. Okay, yeah, I was right. Two groups of three, so there's one group left. And it's probably on this road. Hopefully. Come on. Yes! One, two. I did it! Yes! Finally! Hooray! I did it. Let's go claim the prize. Yeah. Get away from that tornado. Alright, I know it's near that waterfall, so we'll just follow that. We'll follow that waterfall. Keep going. There it is. The opal machine. And there's our final thunder egg for Outback Safari. There we go. 
So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll be back next week to do Snow Worries. I'll see you guys then. Bye!